A smile is the universal welcome. If your actions can inspire others to dream, learn and to become more, you are a leader. We will all agree that our MMBA president, indeed one of the best leader. Now I request Mr. Yes Srinivasa Raghavan, the president of MMBA, to deliver the welcome address. Happy evening to one and all. This evening is a special evening. This occasion is a special occasion. First time, a farmer rose to a great post. He has become a special government leader. He has become the judge of this Charter High Court. He has become a very few judges who have been elevated to Supreme Court without becoming a Chief Justice of any State High Court and who has become the first Chief Justice of India from the state of Tamil Nadu. And I, what I mean by Tamil Nadu is accepting the states of um, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and other states which form part of Madras Rajdhani or Presidency. Now, after demitting his office, he has assumed the gubernatorial role in Kerala and now he is a happy farmer. A farmer judge is now a happy farmer. So we are proud to have Honorable Mr. Justice P. Sadasivam, former CJ of India, as a chief guest here, let us all give him a warm welcome. <laughs> we are very happy to have Mrs. Saraswati Sadasivam, who has come here to grace the occasion. Madam, you are welcome. We are proud to have Honorable Mr. Justice R. Vijay Kumar, Honorable Justice Mr. K. K. Ramakrishnan, amidst their tight schedule being the guest of honor here. Welcome, sir. And I wholeheartedly welcome senior advocates, Mr. T.S.R. Venkatramana, Mr. S. Meenak Shundram, and Mrs. Krishna Veni, who are going to offer their addresses here. And I welcome all the advocates, especially President and Secretaries of the Friendly Brotherly Bar Association. And I am extremely happy to welcome Honorable Mr. Justice S.S. Sundar, Administrative of Madhuri Major Madras High Court, for being present here to offer his felicitation. Once again, I welcome one and all for this momentous evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for the welcome address. May I now request the President of MMBA, Mr. S. Srinivasa Raghavan, to kindly present the memento to our Chief Guest of this pleasant evening, Honorable Mr. Justice P. Sadasivam, former Chief Justice of India, as a token of love. Thank you, sir, and thank you, Lordships. May now request the General Secretary of MMBA, Mr. Ayram K. Silvakumar, to kindly present our Chief Guest, Honorable Mr. Justice P. Sadasivam, former CJ of India, with a gift. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lordship. May I now request the Librarian of MMBA, Mr. K. Prabhu, to kindly present the memento to the Administrative Judge of this Honorable Madurai Bench of Madras High Court, Honorable Mr. Justice S.S. Sundar, as a token of love. Thank you, sir, and thank you, Lordships. May I now request the Treasurer of MMBA, Advocate P. Sarvana Kumar, to kindly adorn the Administrative Judge of Honorable Madurai Bench of Madras High Court, Honorable Mr. Justice S.S. Sundar, with shawl. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lordship. May I now request Senior Advocate Mrs. N. Krishnaveni to honor Mrs. Saraswati Shadashivam with a shawl. Thank you, Madam. May I now request 
senior advocate mrs n krishnaveni former president of mmba to felicitate our chief guest honorable mr justice p sadashivam former cj of india with a few words vanakkam honorable mr justice p sadashivam former chief justice of india and former governor of state of kerala honorable mr justice ss sundar administrative judge of madurai bench of madras high court honorable mr justice r vijay kumar honorable justice mr k k ramakrishnan president and secretary of and other office bearers of mmba president and secretaries of other association senior advocates mrs saraswati sadashivam my dear young and energetic advocates good evening to one and all present here i am honored and privileged to be here for the felicitation of honorable mr justice p sadashivam former chief justice of india and former governor of state of kerala honorable judge enrolled as an advocate on 25th july 1973 at madras his lordship was then appointed to the post of additional government pleader and later as special government pleader in madras high court his lordship was appointed as a permanent judge of the madras high court on 8 january 1996 and was then transferred to punjab and haryana high court on 20th april 2007 His lordship was elevated to the post of judge of supreme court of india on 21st august 2007 honorable judge has authored several path breaking judgments including the reliance gas judgment in may 2010 where his lordship observed that in a national democracy like ours the national assets belong to the people and the government wants such assets for the purposes of developing them in the interest of the people his lordship also delivered verdict in the triple murder case of graham stains and commuted the death sentence of dara singh to life imprisonment on 19th april 2010 his lordship delivered the judgment in jessica lal murder case along with honorable justice b s sawan justice sadashivam delivered the judgment in 1993 mumbai blast case sentencing hindi cinema actor sanjay dat to 5 years of imprisonment under the arms act and that was also asked to serve out the remainder of his sentence his lordship's respect towards women and children and concern towards the issues faced by them is reflected in various judgments of his lordships where the honorable judges cautioned the courts against awarding lesser sentence in crime against women and children and showing undue sympathy towards the accused by altering the sentence to the extent of period already undergone in january 2014 a three judge panel headed by chief justice sadashivam commuted the sentences of 15 death row convicts ruling that the inordinate and inexplicable delay is a ground for commuting death penalty to life sentence His lordship adorned the post of Chief Justice of India from 19th July 2013 to April 2014 and served as Governor of Kerala from 5th September 2014 to 6th September 2019. I have had the privilege to witness his lordship practice at Madras High Court when I entered the bar. When his lordship was a judge of this high court, I am sure that many of them present here would have witnessed how courteous and justice oriented his lordship was his lordship hails from an agricultural family in erode district and is the first generation lawyer of their family his lordship has done his schooling in a government school from there his lordship has rose to occupy the post of chief justice of india i am sure that the road to the apex court to the country would have never been smooth for his lordship but he has worked hard and toiled himself to reach the pinnacle discipline dedication and determination are the most important virtues for anyone to excel in their field and as our honorable judge possesses those qualities his lordship was able to reach the post that every lawyer aspires for all the youngsters present here should take his lordship as their 
role model not only in professional life but also in personal life even today at the age of 75 his lordship is doing agricultural activities in erode i pray god as minakshi to show to shower all her blessings to on his lordship and his family for leading a peaceful and healthy life thank you for the opportunity thank you ma'am may I now request senior advocate mr s minakshi sundaram to felicitate our chief guest honorable mr justice p sadashivam for much chief justice of india with a few words respected and most honorable guest is lordship justice sadashivam <coughs> honorable justice is sundar honorable justice kk ramakrishna learned senior advocates senior advocates of the bar junior advocates and especially my respectable madam saraswati sadashivam the office bearers and the president of the function who has organized this i first bid good evening to this function who have all participated of course when i want to start my felicitation i had not i had prepared something but it has been already told by <laughs> my learned senior advocate krishnaveni but anyway i would start from the beginning so that it will be there are certain gaps which i can fill up as far as the chief guest is concerned he is a multifaceted personality he started his career as an agriculturist thereafter he rose as an advocate thereafter he rose as a government leader special government leader and thereafter he rose to the post of honorable high court judge and thereafter he was elevated to chief justice justice of supreme court of india then chief justice of supreme court of india and thereafter he became excellency his excellency the honorable governor of kerala and again he shows that life is a circle by turning back again coming back to the original agriculturist and his lordship history shows as my predecessor that is my previous speaker told that he start as previous speaker means my president and as well as my learned senior friend told life is a circle wherein it started as an agriculturist and it has ended in an agriculturist his lordship was born on 27 4 in kadapanallur village bhavani taluk hailing from a family of agriculturist he is the first graduate in the family and first advocate from the village he completed his degree course in ayyanadar college sivagasi he completed 3 years bl degree course in 1973 he enrolled as an advocate on 25 7 he joined the office of senior advocate thiru k dureshwami he was appointed as a government advocate on 26 10 1983 he was appointed as additional government leader on 21 7 1988 he was appointed as a special government leader on 27 7 1991 for a moment the past will also be when i say the date you will see within the short piece of period of time he has been stepping the stone correctly the, you will, if you calculate the age from the date of enrollment in the year 1973 to his next step to his next step it was very calculated checkered career then he was appointed as special government leader on 27 7 1991 he had helped the court to dispose of several batch cases arising out of the land acquisition proceedings and he assumed the office of honorable justice of this honorable high court on 8 1 1996 till 31 3 2007 he functioned as a judge of this honorable court totally he did service exactly 11 years 3 months and 8 days in this honorable high court during this period totally he has disposed of 22783 cases as a single judge participating in the division bench he has disposed of 13609 cases sitting as a member of the full bench he had disposed of 156 cases totally as a single judge as a member of division bench and as a member of the full bench he has disposed totally more than 36550 main cases and 50709 miscellaneous applications among them 851 judgments had been reported in report and reputed law journal he was elevated to the honorable supreme court on 21 8 2007 there he was elevated as chief justice of india on 19 7 2013 and he retired as super innovation on 26 4 2004 he is a man 
who does not harm insult or insinuate or either by words or by deeds he is most virtuous human being he is unique and unfavor to him help ever hurt never was not only the policy to be preached but a principle to be practiced this policy is always prevalent even under extremely provocative situations patience and boys are not only his trait but also a way of life for him he had achieved many unique destinations he is the first person to be elevated as a judge of the honorable supreme court by the then president of mr pradeep patil he is also the first judge of the honorable madras high court to be elevated to the supreme court in the last 20 years at that time without the tenure as a chief justice of honorable high court destiny as also his will that he was the first judge who came from the honorable madras high court later became the chief justice of india after the state reorganization as lordship assumed the office of the judge of this honorable high court so honorable supreme court on 21 8 he discharges duties as justice with conscience with conscience or without any fear or favor he almost dealt with all the branches of law with an exception of tax matters but he had got a chance to decide the famous case that is commissioner of income tax versus janagiram mills limited reported in volume number 275 itr 403 It is a case of reference to his lordship in view of conflicting opinions between the then chief judges and N. V. Balasubramaniam J. The said judgment of his lordship was appreciated as a landmark case by a retired member of the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal. After stating that an important decision has been rendered by the Honorable Madras High Court in respect of renovation replacement expenditure found to be deducible as correct repairs under Section 31 R of even otherwise under Section 37 of the Income Tax Act 1961. After an elaborate review of the case laws, the critic concluded this way: the decision in Janagiram Bill's case, as a locus classicus on the subject, deserving the acceptance by the government without any reservation for more than one reason, by bringing a final closure to this unseemly controversy. Thereafter, after his lordship elevation to the Supreme Court, he has rendered many many judgments, landmark judgments. of course my learned senior counsel had already quoted some judgment but to my aspect in a different angle i looked upon and one of the famous case is 2013 10 acc page 1 that is people's union for civil liberties and another versus union of india and another wherein where we now exercise the nota wherein he will not describes about the democracy democracy is all about choice this choice can be better expressed by giving the voters <clears throat> an opportunity to verbalize themselves unreservedly and by imposing least restrictions on their ability to make such a choice by providing nota <coughs> sorry by providing nota button in the evms it will accelerate and the effective political participation in the present state of democratic system and the voters in fact will be empowered we are of the considered view that in bringing out this right to cast negative vote at a time when electioneering is in full swing it will foster the purity of the electoral process and also fulfill one of its objective namely wide participation of the people in the same judgment at para 55 he further states <clears throat> giving a right to voter not to vote for any candidate while protecting his right of secrecy is extremely important in a democracy such an option gives the voter this right to express his disapproval with the kind of candidates that are being put up by the political parties now we are using the nota button as on today but here is the prelude where his lordship has delivered the judgment in 2013 10 acc page 1 in another famous judgment in 2013 8 acc page 593 lalu prasad versus state of jharkhand wherein he again how the democracy should be administered and at the same time what about the position of an accused and especially of a politician this has been very elaborately discussed and thereafter he says about the independence of judiciary independence of judiciary is the basic future of the constitution it demands that a judge who presides over the trial the public prosecutor who presents the case on behalf of the and the lawyer amicus curiae who represents the accused must work together in harmony in the public interest of justice uninfluenced by the personality of the accused or those managing the affairs of the state state they must ensure that their working does not lead to creation of conflict between 
justice and jurisprudence a person whether he is a judicial officer or a public prosecutor or a lawyer defending the accused should always uphold the dignity of their high office with a full sense of responsibility and see that its value in no circumstance gets devalued one another case regarding the very same particular of course in a different angle their lordship has uh, delivered a judgment in 2014 for acc page 473 justice justice ritsudan dayal and others versus state of mp and others wherein he states it is clear that the basic concept is that the privileges probably it may somewhat applicable in the present situation which is now prevailing in our state it is clear that the basic concept is that the privileges are those rights without which the house cannot perform its legislative functions they do not exempt the members from their obligations under any statute which continue to apply to them like any other law applicable to ordinary citizens thus inquiry or investigation into an allegation of corruption against some of the officers of the legislative assembly cannot be said to be interfere with the legislative functions of the assembly no one enjoys any privilege against criminal prosecution and the last one which will be very sweet one for the honorable judges the judgment which law his lordship has delivered is 2014 12 acc page 1 that is p ramakrishna raju versus union of india and others the cry, the dispute arose rather in a clarification arose i may say regarding how to calculate the pension of the retired high court judges with their services in, in the, as an advocate whether it can be computed or not and how it should be computed this is the crux of the point and where it has been delivered the petitioners have prayed that the number of years practice as an advocate shall be taken into account and shall be added to the service as a judge of the high court for the purpose of determining the maximum pension permissible when persons who occupied the constitutional office of the judge high court retires there should not be any discrimination with regard to the fixation of their pension irrespective of the source from where the judges are drawn they must be paid the same pension just as they have been paid same salaries and allowances and perks as serving judges the court accept the petitioner's claim and declare that for pensionary benefits 10 years practice as an advocate be added as a qualifying service for judges elevated from the bar so these are the landmark judgments there are many other landmark judgments especially on the criminal side there are number of judgments and apart from that on the side of the representation of people like the famous no that is the nota case and regarding the personal liberty under article 21 there are also number of cases but if i quote everything that will consume the most of the time so i have shortened it and the last one which i want to submit is regarding his lordship's etiquette behavior and especially the encouragement given to the juniors who practice in his courts high court was always a convenient nice playground to all junior advocates any junior can kick shot the boundary or success provided he struck the ball of healthy hands of his lordship his court is a good turf with good pitch his lordship after his yeoman service in judiciary has began his service on the administrative side as a constitutional functionary as his excellency governor of kerala he was a friend philosopher and guide to the kerala government i again stress he was a friend philosopher and guide to the kerala government as governor of then kerala now he returned back to the pavilion by becoming an agriculturist on behalf of the bar i pray god let him have a peaceful and long life with blessings of almighty thank you sir thanks for your wonderful words may i now request senior advocate mr t s r venkatramna to felicitate our chief guest honorable mr justice P. Sadashivam, former CJ of India, with a few words. Good afternoon, Mr. Talaivar. Senior Vasra Ganorile. In the end of the day, Serap Nagar Kakudiya, in the end of the day, Maria Pukum Anbukum Patramana, Munnal Talamai Nirbidi, Iyya Sadashivam Arile, Avatam Thunayari, Inge Amandak Kakudiya, Nirbidi Arile, Nandbar Arile, சகோதர சகோதரிகளே அனைவருக்கும் என்னுடைய வணக்கம் ஒரு கூட்டத்தில் மூணாவதாக பேசுறது கொஞ்சம் கஷ்டம் என்னென்னா இதுக்கு முன்னாடி எல்லா ஜட்ஜ் பண்ணி சொல்லிட்டாங்க ஸோ நான் என்ன பண்ணலான்னு யோசிச்சுட்டே இருந்தேன் இவங்க எல்லாருக்கும் தெரியாத ஒரு ஜட்மெண்ட் என்று இருக்குது 
ஏன்னா அது நான் நடத்தினது திருநெல்வேலியில் மாவட்ட நீதிமன்றத்துக்கு ஏற்றப்பட ஒரு பத்து ஏக்கரை தமிழக அரசு மின்சார வாரியத்துக்காக அக்வயர் பண்ணாங்க அந்த கட்சிக்காரருக்கு ஏற்கனவே நான் எம்ஏசி ஓபி நடத்தி மிக குறைந்த ஃபீஸ் அவங்க கொடுத்த ஃபீஸை வாங்கிட்டேன் அதனால் எல்ஏ ஓபிக்கு நீங்களே தென்காசிலேருந்து வரணும்னு கூப்பிட்டாங்க நம்ம முதல்ல வேண்டாம்னே இல்லை அவங்க சொன்னதுனால சரின்னு போகணும்னு போனேன் அதில் என்ன ஆயிடுதுனா என்னுடைய கல்லூரி தோழர் நீதிபதியாக வந்தார் அப்போது எல்லாத்தையும் ஆரிக்கை பண்ணிவிட்டு ஒரு முக்கியமான கருத்தை சொன்னேன் என்ன அப்படின்னா அந்த அவார்டு பணத்துக்கு அந்த அக்யூசேஷன்லேருந்து பத்து வருஷம் கழித்து தான் அதாவது முதல்ல ஒரு நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் போட்டு கேன்சல் ஆகி ரெண்டாவது ஒரு நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் போட்டு அது அக்யூசேஷன்லாம் முடிக்கும்போது கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு பதினைஞ்சு இருபது வருடம் ஆகிட்டு அது அப்போது ஆக்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபோர் ஆஃப் எயிட்டி ஃபோர் என்று சொல்லி லேண்ட் அக்யூசேஷன் ஆக்டில் ஒரு அமெண்ட்மெண்ட் வந்து டேட் ஆஃப் பொசிஷன்லேருந்து டேட் ஆஃப் பேமெண்ட் வரைக்கும் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் கொடுக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிற பாயிண்ட்டு அது வந்து மெயின் ஆக்டில் இல்லை பட் அந்த அமெண்டட் ஆக்டில் ஒரு தனி செக்ஷனாக இருந்தது இதை என்னுடைய சார்பு நீதிபதிகிட்ட ஆரிக்கை பண்ணேன் அவர் எனக்கு அதை கொடுக்காட்டாலும் பரவாயில்ல சட்டத்திலே இல்லாத எல்லாம் வெங்கட்ரமணன் சொல்கிறேன்னு சொல்லிட்டார் ரொம்ப வருத்தப்பட்டேன் நான் ஆனால் இதே வழக்கு சதாசிவனிடத்திலும் அப்துல் சதார் ஒரு இடத்திலும் வந்தது முழுமையாக ஆர்கி பண்ணேன் அவங்க ரிட்டப்பில் அலோவ் பண்ணிட்டாங்க அதில் மட்டும் இல்லை கவர்மெண்ட் கொடுத்த அந்த அடிப்படை காம்பன்சேஷனுக்கு மேலே கவர்மெண்ட் அப்பீல் வந்ததுக்கு அந்த கவர்மெண்ட் அப்பீலை டிஸ்மிஸ் பண்ணி என்னுடைய அப்பீல் அலோவ் பண்ணாங்க தீர்ப்பு வந்தோட ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சியாக வாங்கி படித்தேன் கொஞ்சம் காத்து போன பலூன் மாதிரி ஆயிடுச்சு எனக்கு என்னென்னா அந்த இன்க்ரீஸ்ட் அமௌண்ட்டுக்கு அந்த ரெட்ராஸ்பெக்டிவாக இந்த டேட் ஆஃப் பொசிஷன்லேருந்து டேட் ஆஃப் காம்பன்சேஷன் கொடுக்க வேண்டிய அந்த டுவெல் பர்சன்ட் அடிஷனல் அமௌண்ட்டை கொடுத்துறாங்க பட் அந்த ஏற்கனவே அவார்டில் இருந்த பணத்துக்கு அது வரல அது கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு கோடி ரூபா அது எனக்கு என்ன பண்ணணும் தெரியும் ஏன்னா அப்போ தான் ஒரு முன்சிப் கோர்ட்லேருந்து நான் ஹைகோர்ட்டுக்கு வந்திருக்கிறேன் நேரம் உடனே அன்றைக்கி நைட்லேயே பஸ்ஸை பிடிச்சி எங்கள் அண்ணனை போய் பார்த்தேன் மெட்ராஸில் அவர் சொன்னார் அது அப்படி த தவறு நடக்க வாய்ப்பு இல்லையே நீ நல்லா சொல்கிறியா அப்படின்னு முதல்ல என்ன தான் கேட்டார் ஸோ சொல்லிவிட்டு சரி அப்போ நான் அவரை கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணேன் இந்த மாதிரி அப்போ நீதிபதி நேரில் போய் பாரு அப்படின்னாங்க எனக்கே பயம் இருந்தாலும் அவன் போன உடனே என்ன வாட் இஸ் அ மிஸ்டேக் யூஸ் ஐ ஹவ் கமிட்டட்னார் இல்லை இல்லை மிஸ்டேக் எல்லாம் இல்லை ஒரு சின்ன எரர் அப்படின்னு தென் ஃபைலில் ரிவ்யூ அப்படின்னார் நான் சொன்னேன் ரிவ்யூ போட்டால் அதுக்கு எவ்வளோ காசு கட்டணும்னு எனக்கு தான் தெரியும் ஏழு ரெப்ரசன்ட் ஸோ நான் என்ன பண்ணேன் ஒரு அமெண்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஜட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் டிகிரின்னு ஒரு பேஷம் போட்டேன் மிக பெருந்தன்மையாக அதை அலோவ் பண்ணி ஏன்னா கட்சிக்காரங்க பாதிக்கப்பட்டிருக்காங்க ஏன்னா அன்றைக்கே அது வந்து சென்ட்ரு சென்ட்ரு லட்சம் பதினாயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு போயிட்டுருக்குது இவங்க ஆயிரத்தி ஐநூறுரூவா கவர்மெண்டில் காம்பன்சேஷன் கொடுத்தாங்க அந்த ரூலிங் வந்து இவங்க நிறைய ரூலிங்லாம் சொன்னாங்க நமக்கு அவ்வளோ ஞாபக சிக்கிட்டலாம் வயசு வர ஆயிடுச்சு அதில் வேறு ஒரு முக்கியமான விஷயம் நண்பர் மீனாட்சி ஒன்று சொல்லும் போது தான் அவங்க ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி எழுபத்தி மூணில் அவங்க வந்து என்ரோல்மெண்ட் ஆனாங்க அப்படின்னொடனே அப்போ இது உங்களுடைய ஐம்பதாவது ஆண்டு விழா நீதித்துறையில் ஏன்னா அடுத்த வருஷம் எனக்கு ஏன்னா அந்த கணக்கு எப்படி வந்துச்சுன்னா அடுத்த வருஷம் எனக்கு எழுபத்தி நாலு நான் எழுபத்தி நாலு என்ரோல்மெண்ட் ஸோ ஒரு வருஷம் கேட்டு அப்போ இந்த வருஷம் ஐம்பது கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணிட்டார் அப்படின்னு தெரிஞ்சு ஐயா வாழ்த்துக்கள் அது ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய உங்களுடைய ஐம்பதாவது ஆண்டு பொன் விழா ஆண்டு வாழ்க்கையில் வந்து பொன் விழா என்பது ஏன்னா இந்தியா சுதந்திரம் அடையும் பொழுது இந்தியனுடைய சராசரி வயசே முப்பத்தேழாக தான் இருந்தது இந்த நாடு வளர்ந்துருக்குது சந்திராயன் போய் நேற்றுக்கு லேண்ட் ஆச்சு எல்லாம் சொன்னால் அதற்கு காரணம் இந்த நாடினுடைய வளர்ச்சி அதில் நீங்கள் ஐம்பது ஆண்டுகள் எனக்கு ஒரு வருடம் முன்னதாக நீங்கள் வழக்கறிஞராக பணியாற்றி இன்றைக்கு நீங்கள் உச்ச நீதிமன்றத்தில் நீதிபதியாக தலைமையாக அது மட்டும் இல்லை இன்னொன்று அந்த ரூலிங் சொல்கிறேன் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் சிடிசி பேஜ் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ டிவிஷன் பெஞ்ச் ஏன்னா அந்த அமெண்ட்மெண்ட் அது அமெண்ட்மெண்ட்டுக்கு முன்னாடி என்ன நடந்துச்சுனா நிறைய நேரம் ஆயிரும் ஜஸ்டிஸ் இப்ராஹிம் கலிப்லாட்டை வந்துச்சு அது அந்த அமெண்ட் அவர் பிடிச்ச அந்த பிச்சு பறக்க விட்டார் நானும் எவ்வளவோ சொல்லி பார்த்தேன் இல்லை அப்புறம் ஒரு லெவல் தாண்டினோடனே தவற தவறுன்னு தான் சொல்ல முடியும் வேறு என்ன சொல்ல முடியும் அப்படின்னு கேட்டேன் 
அப்போது அவர் நாளைக்கு நான் படிச்சுட்டு வரேன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு ரூலிங் கொண்டு வந்து கொடுத்தார் கொடுத்தோன்னு நான் இந்த ரூலிங் எனக்கு சாதகமாக இருக்குது அப்படின்னு அவர் எப்படி சொன்னாங்கன்னா அப்போ யூ ஷுட் பே மீ ஹாஃப் ஆஃப் தி ஃபீஸ் நர் ஐ சே யூ டேக் த ஃபுல் ஃபீஸ் பட் அலோ மை ரிவ்யூ பெட்டிஷன் அப்படின்னு சொன்னேன் ஆனால் அவங்க சொன்னாங்க ஜட்ஜிட்டியே போடுறேன்னு சொல்லி அதில் என்னென்னா நான் அந்த இதை சொன்ன உடனே நீங்கள் இருங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அப்போது சர்தார் சையத் நினைக்கிறேன் அவங்க ரிட்டையர்ட் ஆகிட்டாங்க மதிவானந்த் ஜெய் சிட்டிங்கில் இருந்தாங்க இவங்க அதை எல்லாத்தையும் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணி சொல்லி அதுக்கப்புறம் டிக்டேட் பண்ணாங்க அதுதான் அந்த ரிப்போர்ட் ஆன ரூலிங் அது அது என்ன என்ன சொன்னால் இன்றைக்கு நிறைய நம்ம நீதிமன்றத்தில் பார்க்குறோம் வக்கீலோட ஜட்ஜு நிறைய பேசுகிறாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவேன்னா ஆனால் பொறுமையாக கேட்டு அதை ஒரு கட்சிக்காரருக்கு அவருக்கு அலோவ் பண்ணது என்னால் மறக்க முடியாது அதே மாதிரி நம்மளுக்கும் ஆசை கனவுகள் டெல்லிக்கு போகணும் அப்படின்னு போனேன் குற்றாலத்துலேருந்து டெல்லிக்கு போகிற எவ்வளோ பெரிய தப்புங்கிறது போன பிறந்தா தெரிஞ்சுது செஸ்ட்டில் வந்து இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் வந்துருச்சு இருந்தாலும் அவங்கள ஒரு நாளைக்கு பார்க்கும்போது நீங்கள் சேம்பருக்கு அலாட் ப அப்ளை பண்ணிட்டீங்களா அப்படின்னாங்க இல்லை பண்ணலை என்ன பண்ணுங்க அதுக்கு உங்களுக்கு அந்த சீனியாரிட்டியில் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் அப்படின்வாங்க ஆனால் அந்த பாக்கியம் எனக்கு ஏன்னா அந்த என்னுடைய டாக்டர் சொன்னார் உங்களுக்கு டெல்லியா அல்லது உயிரா அப்படின்னு கேட்டார் அப்படி ஆப்வியஸ்லி நம்ம சாய்ஸ் உயிர் தான் அப்படின்ட்டு வந்துட்டேன் அன்றைக்கு இது இந்த நேரத்தில் எதுக்காக சொல்லுறேன்னா ஏற்கனவே எத்தனையோ வழக்குகளில் தீர்ப்புகளெல்லாம் சொன்னாங்க நோட் எவ்வளவு பண்ணாங்க இன்னொரு அவங்களுடைய சிறப்பு ஒன்று சொல்லணும்ல தமிழகத்தினுடைய மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு அரசியல்வாதி இறந்து போனாங்க அப்போ அவங்க கவர்னராக இருக்காங்க தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வராங்க ஏன்னா அஞ்சல் செலுத்துறதுக்காண்டி வரணும் வரும்போது எப்படி வந்தாங்க அப்படின்னா வெறும் கவர்னர் மட்டும் வரல கேரளா கவர்னர் மட்டும் வரல கேரளா உன்னுடைய முதலமைச்சரையும் கேரளாவினுடைய எதிர்கட்சி தலைவர் மூணு பேரும் வந்து அந்த ஃபங்க்ஷனில் கலந்துக்கிட்டாங்க அப்போது எந்த அளவுக்கு வந்து அங்கே இருக்கக்கூடிய அரசியல்வாதிகளோடும் அரசியல் தலைவர்களோடும் அவர்கள் வந்து அதோட வெறும் தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வரவங்கிறது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் அந்த ஒரு ஃபுல் கேரளாவே வந்து அங்கே வந்து அவருக்கு அஞ்சலி செலுத்திய மாதிரி அவங்க செய்த என்ன நான் டிவியில் பார்த்துருந்தேன் என்னால் மறக்க முடியாது அந்த ஒரு சம்பவம் வந்து இது மாதிரி சொல்லிகிட்டே போகலாம் இருந்தாலும் நீங்கள்லாம் அவர் பேசாதான் கேட்க வந்துருக்கீங்க நான் ரொம்ப நேரம் பேச முடியாது மேலே வாய்ப்புக்கு நன்றி சொல்லி விடுவீர் நன்றி வணக்கம் ஜெய்ஹிந்த் தேங்க்யூ சார் ஃபார் யுவர் கைண்ட் அண்ட் எனர்ஜெட்டிக் வேர்ட்ஸ் மே நவர் ரெக்வஸ்ட் தி அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டிவ் ஜட்ஜ் ஆஃப் ஹானபிள் மதுரை பெஞ்ச் ஆஃப் மெட்ராஸ் ஹைகோர்ட் ஹானபிள் மிஸ்டர் ஜஸ்டிஸ் எஸ் எஸ் சுந்தர் டு ஃபெலிஸ்டேட் அவர் சீஃப் ஜஸ்டிஸ் ஹானபிள் மிஸ்டர் ஜஸ்டிஸ் பி சதாசிவம் ஃபார்மர் சிஜி ஆஃப் இந்தியா வித் ஃபியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆனரபிள் Mr. Justice Sadasivam, former Chief Justice of India, my companion judges, and Mrs. Sadasivam, and uh, the senior members of the bar office, brothers of all the three associations, good evening to everyone. I am the fourth speaker. I have also <laughs> got actually a <laughs> list of judgments actually. Therefore, to shortcut actually, I just want to, to make two corrections. Uh, senior counsel tr venkatramana in his speech actually referred to the amendment in 1984 that is probably section 23 1 capital a where interest actually 12% the refer to actually uh, uh, the fact that he lost before a judge uh, which which according to was his colleague actually probably he was referring to justice ibrahim kalifulla he happened to be his actually i don't know i don't know because justice ibrahim kalifulla also belongs to the same batch i don't know your batch is the oh he is the first graduate in his uh, family and he is the first advocate he raised to because he completed his uh, law in madras law college and thereafter immediately practiced under a senior counsel mr durasami so we used to find actually him always uh, looked at you. i have seen him in my own eyes actually how he used to busy running between courts like that so uh, his practice in motor accident claim tribunal is ever uh, amazing i know and then just few days before his elevation he was asked to appear before justice m srinivasan so with the same sense of actually as an advocate beautiful advocate he was present in that court on that day i can forget actually the incident so such a humble man in his beginning now talking about his actually uh, his, his uh, legal acumen he always actually try to answer every point that is answered before him so we are now judges are judged by their own judgments when i am actually we were all comfortable when we argue the case present the case before actually he is a uh, very good uh, analyzer and then 
always will be surprised when we don't actually present the case facts properly. Because in land acquisition uh, uh, cases actually, those cases, uh, you always remember one particular rule, rule 3B, in all acquisitions late into housing board. So there is a requirement by which the objections will be forwarded to the requisition department. The requisition department will uh, are expected to offer their remarks to the objection. When the objections are considered on the basis of remarks offered by the requisition department, without holding further inquiry, then that is actually an infraction of Rule 3B that is settled by question. So when we present the same case before him, we will actually put two embarrassing questions, whether have you filed objections within 30 days? <laughs> if you don't file objections, yes, you will be. So this is, these are all actually things, yeah. so we will have to be now careful in presenting the case. Uh, same way, uh, so a very serious argument was advanced uh, while challenging the constitutional virus of so much of a super spending mills case actually. The argument was by actually Justice Sudhagar and I was actually a junior. So I prepared actually all my written arguments in the notes and before him. So the judgment was meticulous. That gave uh, everyone reading the judgment, if I appear actually and then uh, quoted all these points, everything was concerned. It's a very beautiful, nice judgment. Anybody will appreciate, not only the ju <laughs> honorable judge, but also the counsels who are arguing the case. This is the way in which actually he used to uh, narrate events in every judgment of you and then it is a, uh, always it will be good for reading, first of all, to understand what exactly the issue that was considered fairly, fair to everyone who was uh, present in the case and this is the quality of uh, our Lordship's former CJ. And then I'm uh, grateful that he's now become, former CJ has become actually a former and then we see he's actually valuable advice to farmers as a farmer now. So he gave several tips. Probably he wanted actually the government to look into the problems, real problems of the farmer now. So in one of his actually, uh, he, the problem faced by the present day agriculturist farmers uh, is something actually, because he could uh, uh, make valuable suggestions and then because of time factor actually, I don't want to continue more and then about. I only say a few things about actually, uh, his lordships at the, the caliber as a judge. So there were instances where I am also uh, not only land acquisition cases, but in relation to uh, one instance, I will be, uh, just actually narrate and then complete for that. So there was a enactment called Tamil Nadu Preservation of Private Forest Act. So we have a case challenging a notification issued under the provisions of the act. The collector. Uh, or uh, a committee under the headship of collector is the authority to issue a notification declaring any private land as a private forest. So then it will come into the purview of act. So this, uh, uh, we are challenging notification, it came before uh, Justice Vaivangadachu. Uh, so, incidentally we challenge the three provisions of the act. So therefore actually he declared the three provisions as invalid on the ground, peculiarly, on the ground that actually violation of principles of natural justice. <laughs> Farmers are given actually. So then it came before actually, uh, yes, the division bench consisting of. After remand, uh, of course, so the matter was considered and it's a well-considered judgment and uh, nobody can uh, quarrel with actually. So the way in which actually heard us, heard us, and then answered every point actually, I still remember uh, some of the aspects of the case. So you always used to respect to every counsel's the meticulousness in preparedness. Actually, you would make a record of it and thereafter deal with the issue. This is a great actually, the quality of uh, our former CJ. With that actually I conclude, I wish him only a yeah, long, happy, I actually and healthy life. Thank you. Thank you, Lordships. Justice Charles Evans Hughes, the 11th Chief Justice of the United States of Supreme Court, said that an honest, high-minded, able and fearless judge is the most valuable servant of democracy. If greatness consists in the combination of character and intellect of the highest order, and if it is to be measured by the lasting value of solid works done in the fields of thought and action, our Chief Guest, Honorable Mr. Chief Justice P. Sadasivam, 
former chief justice of india is definitely one of the most outstanding judges and men of our times even retirement has not been able to rupture his sense of public duty and moral vision and he is amid us today to share few words may now request honorable mr justice p sava sadasivam former cj of india to deliver his special address to the gathering present here honorable mr justice s s sundar administrative judge of the madurai bench of the madras high court other honorable judges of the madurai bench officers of the registry most respected mr t s r venkatramana s meenach sundaram and madam krishnaveni mr s srinivasa raghavan president and ayiram k selva kumar general secretary other officers of the mmba and other associations and my dear advocates good evening to all uh, i will also mention the same thing i am a fifth speaker or the last speaker no i have also noted these judgments since all of you have already mentioned now i am not going to narrate my background farming etc etc but i my journey started as a farmer's son so other things i studied in a government school tamil medium only then after finishing a graduation when i joined madras law college i started getting english newspaper every day to my room when i was in the house uh, i started reading hindu uh, because um, since i my whole uh, school and college everywhere mostly in tamil medium only so thereafter i learned uh, uh, good english then i enrolled as an advocate other details all of all the earlier speakers have mentioned i am not going to say anything but some of the important judgments mentioned all of you including my respected brother judge jasi sundar regarding reliance gas everyone mentioned that was a dispute among the ambani brothers my colleague was justice um, chauhan so we after going through the papers this an important event so we 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 are many of you may not aware we are getting plenty of natural resources in bay bengal arabian sea and indian ocean we have well established public sector undertakings unfortunately this was being utilized only by these companies so whatever may be it is for the government we cannot say all these things but in order to solve the issue we summoned both the brothers and their mother to the court now at that time i was heading the supreme court as a chief judge of india uh, they came to my court all three were seated in the front row then after negotiation they we, we, they agreed for a settlement so we finalized the case in that while delivering judgment no i made an observation no, not a direction to the elected government it is it is for the elected government to take a policy decision and implement so the courts cannot dictate them to do it or not to do it but i made an observation me, myself and justice savan mentioning all these public sector undertakings uh, they are at that time they were functioning well in order to develop more employment opportunities it is better to encourage public sector undertakings with that we said the last sentence it is for the appropriate government to take a decision so we made only observation but unfortunately that has not been uh, implemented now one by one it is going to private hand only uh, uh, that that uh, then another one everyone mentioned the mumbai blast case 1993 uh, here also i have to mention one thing you know the trial went for 13 years at mumbai that was the first blast in india that was in the judgment itself i have mentioned this the 
this was planned in my, in our neighboring country how this ak47 guns were entered mumbai uh, port etc everything we mentioned uh, then after 13 years they convicted uh, 13 persons to a life sentence uh, sorry death sentence and everyone mentions sanjay that about at 5 years uh, 3 years by the court only we increased it after conviction because tada and provisions have been included the high court has no jurisdiction to hear the appeal that is a problem appeal lies straight to um, supreme court so at that time the chief uh, our uh, then chief justice was justice kapadia from bombay very difficult to Uh, easily meet him or interact casually even his colleagues have to get an appointment then only uh, the judges were allowed to enter his chamber so um, uh, suddenly uh, during lunch time uh, his uh, private secretary came to my chamber my lord uh, chief justice of india wants to meet you please come at 4:30 over at tea you want to discuss one issue then i was little shocked i don't know what is the mistake i committed why cji is summoning me asking me to come and meet then i went there he offered a cup of tea then he said brother this is a, a very big case heard by the bombay court last 13 years so we have received uh, uh, records parties have filed appeals so i am i am thinking of interesting this matter to you, to you and uh, that is the privilege i am mentioning he mentioned i am giving an opportunity to select a companion judge of your choice it ever happened in any court it is a prerogative of the chief justice then i said sir uh, chief i am thankful to you though uh, I, i i like all the judges but in order to get more assistance i prefer justice p s chauhan then he constituted the same bench within a week we uh, the case has been listed before that um, i asked my secretary uh, madam you send those uh, uh, records and judgment copy of the trial court i am going for a vacation so in my village i can go through and read then she was standing like a tree uh, i asked why you are not uh, uh, responding milandi if i if want to implement your lordship's direction i have to secure a lorry to send all the because more than 60000 exhibits and judgment alone thousands of pages then i said leave it <laughs> will then i returned first day we mentioned in the costly itself till this batch is over we are not going to hear any other matter 10:30 to 4 o'clock only this mumbai blast case no adjournment no pass over then we uh, heard this matter for 10 months continuously after reserving this judgment within 4 months we delivered a judgment uh, uh, the judgment alone running into 1200 pages the all india reported aa printed the judgment in a separate volume in the docket separate volume in the docket first page uh, it is mentioned the biggest case ever heard by the supreme court delivered by so on so they mentioned my name and justice chauhan <laughs> on the date of retirement after retirement the publishers came to my house they handed over that copy sir you keep it in your house it it may give some encouragement to you that i accepted when i settled in my village i returned all my law books purchased from 1973 to 2014 to erode district court library they mentioned my name and opened a library i retained this judgment alone even now sometimes i take up or go through it how able to collect these materials only for that another thing is is another thing i can probably say is rajiv gandhi assassination accused case you know the supreme court itself confirmed the death sentence they deserve death sentence nobody can kill anyone including a prime minister of a country but 
in that is the constitution of india in our constitution gives same right to death convicts also most of you may not have might not have visited uh, death cell i had an opportunity to see the cell personally you can't see outside only the window will be at the ceiling level these persons after confirmation of uh, death sentence sent a mercy petition karunai manu to the president that was kept pending for nearly 8 years so they challenged by way of pil uh, under article 32 of the constitution directly to the supreme court in when we issued a notice to the central government unfortunately uh, the then home ministry mentioned uh, sir this uh, incident happened in southern part in in the south india that is in part of tamil nadu we have to collect records and take all those records to delhi to our our office that's why it so now i said every day three or four flights from delhi chennai to delhi within three hours you can bring or even if put everything in a lorry it will reach within a four or five days why eight, eight years in the absence of proper acceptable reason we we quoted international law india is a party to those conventions quoted a convention international convention and we mentioned in the absence of acceptable reasons even death convicts are also entitled more benefits under our constitution so at this stage at that time they were in jail for nearly 27 years we said not it is not proper to Uh, execute them we modified the uh, death into life and we also mentioned it is open to the appropriate government to take a, a decision considering their length of service in the jail that may be the reason subsequent uh, subsequently now all of them have uh, um, were released from the now why i am not for this i am i mentioned so you know um, as a chief justice of india when i retired the president of india hosted a uh, dinner inviting prime minister vice president everyone that is usual that happens to everyone after one week when i was staying in the same official residence as per a supreme court procedure the retired judge can stay for one month now i was st- i stayed two weeks first week i received a phone call from the secretary to the then president mr pranab mukherjee sir president wants uh, to talk to you then he requested he asked for whether any relatives are with you sir now i should know myself and madam alone are at delhi please come for lunch on a particular day then we went there he invited his daughter son other family members provided a sumptuous uh, lunch then asked uh, his daughter to take my wife to some mogal garden and spend some time he took me he took my hand to his office room he showed he asked me to sit in his chair see on the right side i am keeping your judgment whenever any mercy petition comes that will remind me don't delay it now i said sir you are not delaying it only the home ministry has to forward it and if there is a acceptable reason then delay can be so i explained to him anyhow he kept that judgment on my right side so i can probably say the other thing um, one day in a crowded court i noticed a, a advocate wearing black glass in the front row not able to sit or argue then i conveyed to my sister judge ranjana desai was my partner at that time he he was she was uh, the, the then he asked what is the matter why you are standing here in the front row then only we came to know he is a 100% blind advocate with the assistance of someone he mentioned sir we have we means disabled persons have several difficulties i have filed a pil please consider immediately even without looking into the paper uh, with the on consultation we issued a notice to all state governments and the union of india within a month we heard once again then issued various directions uh, 
that several directions maybe after that judgment only we mentioned the statistics how many disabled persons in india employment opportunity etc at that time the reservation was 3 persons we very politely humbly made a suggestion to the parliament it is proper to consider next session they increased the 3 percent to 4 percent and in that order we issued a direction year after all government offices either state or center they have to provide a ramp whenever you see walk on the ramp you have to think of me that is a mandatory likewise several directions i am mentioning only one and we also said here of we, sh- we should not call them as a disabled they are all specially abled persons so that also i can proudly say and uh, prohibition of manual scavenging we only by way of pal prohibited here after no question of t- someone going into the manhole and take so they have to use machineries uh, issued a positive direction in case any death happens in that the family has to be paid 10 lakhs and now i saw only in kerala they immediately invented they open a manhole put that machine within 2 minutes they uh, rem- the block will be removed everything will be i don't know the position in tamil nadu so that also i can proudly say another is also mp lad judgment mp lad member of parliament uh, you know mp mp and mla they are getting uh, fund for development in their constituency that was challenged by another mp from kashmir jammu kashmir i think uh, i have forgotten his name um, he engaged mr venugopal as his counsel um, it came up before uh, then chief justice justice balakrishnan i was sitting with him Uh, before hearing the matter i can humbly convey to the cji sir it is very an important issue it is going to be a tussle between legis- elected government and the judiciary why not be subject to your approval why not be referred to constitution bench he readily agreed and the bench was constitution bench was constituted i was a fourth judge mr venugopal argued from 10:30 to 3 o'clock almost he convinced all the judges except myself i didn't agree then another one hour attorney general then attorney general came and completed his argument you know the practice in supreme court all important cases heard the all the judges will go to the senior judge chamber over the they express their views in that they express other four as usual as a south indian hum very in a humble way i mentioned to the cj sir these are all the things according to me it is a valid piece of legislation i explained i come from a rural based uh, i know the sufferings of the people suppose if the elected mp or mla is a opposition party he or she may not get any scheme so at least if this fund goes he can do something toilet roads something library etc this is his one number two several safeguards are there i argued like petitioners council one if it is in a mafasal the collector has to see this request and personally inspect and give approval if it is in city the commissioner corporation has to do the same thing so second safeguard third one after finishing the work if it relates to member of parliament all the documents tender document etc have to be forwarded to the parliament secretariat if it is mla it has to be forwarded to the state legislature so several safeguards are there now right to information act is there everyone can question according to me uh, i humbly say it is a valid piece of legislation we have to uh, respect the elected uh, members they are answerable to their voters not you and i when i visit nobody will come and complain but mla and mps are answerable to their people all four agreed and chief justice said brother you prepare a judgment yeah.
77 page within a week i prepared i even summoned uh, the parliament secretary to my residence bring all the gvos other copies he supplied i mentioned then all four agreed it is a unanimous constitution ben judgment after delivery that is the, that's why i am telling morning uh, next day after seeing the newspaper about 10 mps came to my house at, at that time i was in number 5 krishna man and mark chief justice residence my security they are not allowing because no appointment we can't allow anyone to enter then see, i said they are all mps let them come then i said no need to come they came to convey their thanks sir you are the only judge i recognized our role you said they elected the members have elected government as more role so this is very encouraging oh, so we want i we want to convey our thanks now i said don't do it it is our duty it is there in our constitution so after serving tea i asked them to uh, convey my thanks only that's all so another thing another things this um, Uh, nota everybody mentioned see very important pil one day one uh, person argued see in my constituency a party b party c party i, I am not in, uh, 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 everyone is having some complaint or something i am not uh, uh, i am not uh, i have uh, no respect for them how can i cast my vote can i throw it so he raised a valid point then we summoned chief election commissioner at that time mr krishnamurthy from tamil nadu i asked him to bring that machine also in the court itself we spent more than 2 hours then he suggested i accept we demonstrated he demonstrated i accepted and the last we can put this nota if somebody uh, put that uh, button it will show that if more voter uh, votes are there it may give a message to the political parties then at least for next time they will select a good candidate that also then bbpt uh, that is voter uh, verified paper audit trial that also my direction when you uh, select a candidate how do you say uh, that uh, you have selected a correct person whether that has gone to the correct symbol correct name so that also we directed the election commissioner to come to the court he demonstrated and uh, next to the uh, same small slip will come now they are uh, i think they have uh, uh, introduced to all uh, assembly and parliamentary constituency it will so it will be it will seen 10 second or 15 second again it will go down so this is also one proof another thing also very important nobody mentioned uh, the candidate has to mention the movable and immovable properties name and other details of not only himself his wife and minor children if any so many they at, uh, before three months or six months election they transfer to wife's name or somebody's name now that cannot be possible so all these things i can say but not required then as a governor of kerala now thereafter five minutes i will finish up some request to the members of the bar and honorable judges in the kerala i i formulated a chancellor award there are 13 universities best university every year i requested chief minister sir let me i will select a best university let us let us uh, Uh, give some amount to encourage so 5 crores prize money plus certificate i constitute a high level committee they will inspect and submit a report everyone appreciate it. even in the governor's conference the present prime minister and president former president mentioned to other governors if possible follow this method also i can um, Uh, then um, the law university conferred a doctorate etc and i am not going to elaborate then uh, uh, attending conference like this is mandated unfortunately now i expected for a madurai bench there may be big uh, auditorium so only very small auditorium ah uh, yes uh, because 
hearing uh, speeches from honorable judges senior advocates is an important for young and uh, um, upcoming lawyers no i can proudly mention as a young lawyer in 1973s i heard standing in a corner of our court i heard the arguments of mr parasaran and mr venugopal this mr parasaran mentioned in the open court one day finally he later i had the opportunity to decide their merits as a judge of the high court and supreme court when he was arguing in supreme court one day very politely very humbly mr parasar mentioned now our arguments destiny in your hand i saw you as a young lawyer standing in a corner taking notes of our arguments now i take it is a is a it is a appreciation for me then as a member of the bar for 23 years and nearly 19 years in the bench namely two high courts and supreme court finally as a head of the judiciary i have a great respect for the judiciary and an abiding uh, abiding interest in protecting its role in our democracy only one information i have this uh, reliance gas i en- i mentioned en- uh, uh, appreciating public sector undertaking on the date of retirement in the farewell address i mentioned uh, maybe after one or two weeks i am going back to my village i want to continue my farming no it has come as a big news in the next day newspaper after knowing this almost more than seven or eight public sector mds and chairman came to my house uh, no i asked what is the purpose of meeting me now i am a retired person no sir uh, we have gone through your judgment you encouraged public sector so why you are uh, going to village we have thousands of crores of money have to be recovered from many corporate houses particularly foreign companies you stay at delhi we will provide accommodation in our guest houses everything we will provide give legal opinion and uh, arbitration matters now i said this is my personal view others do not take it after retirement as a chief justice of india again going back to the legal profession it is personal view because what not my colleague and i won't mention his name he succeeded as a chief justice when an advocate argued milord my argument is based on the opinion of former chief justice of india so unfortunately my colleague said this is still worse he openly after mentioning this then only i said same thing may happen tomorrow to me also why should we um, get this of course very unfortunate the same judge is now uh doing the arbitration at delhi now i won't disclose his name uh then these mds uh, tried my level best now i said i am not interested it is my personal view i have to take care of my own lands because my two children were out of my village i have to look after my lands then very half a mind they about to leave one person again came she boldly he mentioned sir we know your last drawn salary as a chief justice of india uh, at that time i was sitting alone if you accept our suggestion uh, you may earn, you may get 20 times if you have your last drawn salary per month now i said fortunately my wife was not there she was inside the house she, otherwise she could have persuaded me to accept <laughs> then i said my pension is sufficient uh, so i convey that is one thing then uh, members of legal fraternity should remember that apart from their duty towards their clients they perform public duty as well as officers of court in furtherance of cause of justice they should always keep in in view the larger objective of advancement of uh, public morality truth and justice and still and instill confidence in the public 
they have to scrupulously abide by the code of uh, conduct prescribed by the bar council of india cooperation between the bench and bar is fundamental necessity a lawyer should not forget that he is not only fighting the battle for his client but he is assisting the court in the administration of justice then i don't want to mention the constitutional provisions uh, but at least one occasion once in six months once in a year you must help some poor persons are uh, disabled so many other persons they have a litigation so why i am mentioning one month back one uh, disabled person he is working in a government office in dindukal i don't know uh, maybe after reading my order everything uh, he took another disabled person he is 100% blind the other person who accompanied uh, he has some uh, leg problem with the assistance of another person these two came to my village from dindukal to my village i noted his name is satya satyago he is under plain blind working in uh, dindukal collector's office some issue he filed a case even that was heard by madurai bench everything went in his favor now after three rounds the government filed a slp that was also dismissed in supreme court but afterwards they filed a review that is still pending so he came to my house sir i i cannot go on defend my case i cannot spend i am a 100% blind disabled then i said why you came here everywhere even in dindukal in the court complex legal service authority is there or go to madurai bench um, their legal service authority they will definitely after noting down details they will engage a counsel you need not spend any money so in the morning i mentioned these details to one of the registry officer i think he 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 requested me sir convey this to the i think morning i mentioned the another problem of course here all advocates are in the high court notorious problem in the trial courts in granting frequent adjournments i am not going to mention cpc provision how many times adjournment can be given but uh, why I, i mentioned in one function next uh, last time see when i retired 2014 after finishing uh, the governorship for five years when i settled in my village first next day morning i went round my garden 30 acres of land uh, very adjoining to kaveri river in ero district then after my land about 14 acres beautiful lands but all big uh, this what is that vella vela maram vella vela or karu vela maram peri peri marama na i enquired why uh, sir here we have filed a partition suit this is pending for 14 years in bhavani court additional district court 14 years partition suit no don't mistake me uh, then i asked what is the reason i requested all the advocates because it won't be proper to invite one advocate i asked the additional district judge she was a madam um, now she has been transferred i asked everyone to my house why partition suit 14 years now I'm, this happened in 2019 now four years have gone then the presiding officer very politely said sir three deaths three deaths had taken place even then why immediately they have to file a lr petition but that is not the practice sir on the suppose somebody now i conveyed this to members of the bar also in one or two places uh, the senior advocate won't come he will deputy his junior to go and inform even junior may be running here and there so he may ask some advocate sitting in the court hall he will touch when the case is called so and so first respondent died for steps so the judge also it is represented the first respondent died steps 3 months after some date then it will go up to one or two years that is what that proceeding officer sir for these three days 
nearly six or seven years have gone. What I am saying, I am going to convey it to every bar. See, when uh, even uh, honorable judges can also, I mean, mention this whenever occasion comes. When any council makes a representation, so and so died. At the same time, let them collect uh, his or her LRs, put it in small paper. Need not be petition like so and so. The are the legal hairs, male or female age. If minor is that, then usual. So if the other side agrees, then immediately the judge, presiding judge, can record it and post it for next hearing for a trial. Unfortunately, that is not being followed. Now that suit has now it is the age of that suit is 17 years. No, every day I go morning walk up to that border. No, I feel what is the purpose in serving judiciary, rendering so many judgments? In practical, it is not happening. Now I am going to tell one more incident afterwards. So these cases have to be referred to um, um, arbitration, sorry, mediation, loka dalat. Loka dalat is taking place. I am very carefully watching what is happening in districts and high court. But the advocates have to convince. See, little give and take. It is not a fighting for a contractual work or a promotion from government service. Among, after all, among own brothers and sisters. That is one. Then, no, I am not going to mention 18 and CPC, all those things. We have to, during COVID-19 season, uh, maybe very inconvenient, but at the same time, it made, uh, made us to follow this, uh, uh, what is that, um, modern method like uh, online, etc., etc. So, though I personally feel personal appearance in court is preferable, but some occasion we have to. Now, Supreme Court, everything is being, uh, from sitting here, we can verify which case is going on. Sometimes, argument is also being shown. So, we have to, our lawyers have to thorough with the modern technology. Only for that I am mentioning. Now, I realized uh, when the Bombay bomb blast was, uh, case was heard, myself and Justice Chauhan, we, both of us are unaware of computer or uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, the, for CBI, Additional Solicitor General, I have forgotten his name. He was just every day, he entered our court hall with a smiling face. He won't carry any uh, paper book, etc. One day I asked, where is the paper book? Immediately he took his hand, small iPad. He opened it. He completed that case with a small iPad. So why I am mentioning, nowadays every lawyer has to learn all these things. Of course, we have, uh, at that time we were not familiar with it. So uh, that also is, uh, is um, required in this uh, time. Then, uh, 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 finally, I am coming to family court cases. Now I am going to say in uh, Tamil, I read it in newspaper. Kudumbanala Valakul, particularly diverse cases, Oru Vadathil Mudithi Thirpu Koravendam, Aladhu Mudithi. My request is one year. When I meet next time our Chief Justice, I am going to mention, in the, our Honorable Judges can also convey this to our Chief Justice and circular can be issued to all family courts. First of all, vacancies have to be filled up. And they have to finish it up within one year. One year. Either settle or pass this way or that way order. I received one message through my YouTube. Karnataka Manilathil, Yelu Varudamaha, Ur Valaki Family Court in Iluva Ile Irindade, Uyeni the Mandatil Murita Bodu. Within the mandram, and the Valakai moon maatil mudike utar vittad. Wherever ha mudike, yethne ver within the mandram thirku poha mudi. Court boyda direction na apni mudi. Adi mari inno ru valakil. Idu it has come in Tamil newspaper. Delhi within the mandram ide bol utaro seidalade. Nienda oti veipu vanda mandra ariyurti ulla. This is in respect of family courts. Even many in my area. Many family court matters are pending for three to four years. 
they come to my house no i said i am not a lawyer i am a retired judge don't come for anything no i can't say i can't give any advice only thing when occasion comes i can convey this family court matters are pending everywhere finally a humble request to our brother and sister judges administrative judges they are in charge of one or two districts my humble request they have to visit that district every month preferably on a saturday you are not going in your by spending your pocket expense if air ticket air route is available you see it or by train or by vehicle so every sat- uh, monthly once one saturday you have to visit and the bar president and secretary note down their grievances then meet all the judicial officers in the presence of pdj cjm family court judges and note down there see you may not aware how many vacancies are there i heard in my district erod fortunately today madam sister judge is not there she came to my village uh, what is her name anita sumanth is not there she said she is going to delhi as on day four three additional district courts are vacant so they have to convey it to the chief justice whenever they visit and they have to take steps so <laughs> um then um, that is one then um, uh, by meeting the bar members judicial officers they can convey certain directions certain decisions all of them may not aware see you people are conversant with the supreme court judgments and high court judgment not our munsips and magistrates so many decisions are there uh, as all of you have mentioned i can also mention to my own judgment for one or two years how to register a fir there is a direction to all our police officers like uh, these things can be discussed uh, through these officers and when they get a chance to visit chennai they can appraise the chief justice and rectify these uh, mistakes and uh, i especially with this i conclude i especially thank the administrative judge and other honorable judges officers of the registry particularly mr sinivas raghavan president and mr selva kumar secretary both are responsible for this uh, assembly and opportunity for me to interact with you other officers of the mmba finally the entire grid goes to all the bar members madurai bench for conducting this function in a good manner a grand manner thank you vanakkam thank you lordships for sharing your rich court experience no duty is more urgent than that of rendering thanks may I now request the general secretary of mmba advocate mr airam k selvakumar to propose vote of thanks anivarkam vanakkam it's give me an immense pleasure to offer the vote of thanks for the felicitation ceremony of honorable chief former chief justice justice p sadashivam milords when i was holding the post of law officer my uh, then colleague mr baskar bani lordship uh, junior he quite often would uh, mention lordships uh, all sort of uh, uh, gracious things and other things now today i realized uh, when we the bar members met lordships in the chamber in the uh, guest bungla uh, chief guest uh, bungla we really realized uh, the lordships uh, simplicity and other thing then i recollect the uh, trikural paniyudayan இன்சுலநாதல் ஒருவருக்கு அணிகலன் மற்றுபிற லாட்ஷிப் மே ரெண்டாடு இம்பக்கபிள் சர்வீஸ் டூரிங் இஸ் ஆல் தி போஸ்டிங் லாட்ஷிப் ஹெல்டு பட் அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தட் த சிம்ப்ளிசிட்டி ஆஃப் தி லாட்ஷிப்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ ரியலி ஹோல் ஹார்ட்லி அப்ரிஷியபிள் திங் பை தி எவ்ரி ஒன் என்ன ஒரு திறமை என்ன என்ன இருந்தாலும் அந்த பதவி இருக்கும் பொழுதும் மனிதனாக இருக்கும் பொழுதும் அந்த பணிவும் இன்சுலனும் அது மாதிரி ஒரு அணிகலன் வேறு எதுவுமே இல்லைன்னு வள்ளுவர் சொன்னது தான் லாட்ஷிப்பினுடைய எளிமையை பார்க்கும்போது தெரிஞ்சது அது இப்போ ஒரு இயற்கை விவசாயம் பண்ணுறாங்க அதை பற்றி பசுமை உடல்லாம் வந்திருந்தது ஸோ லாட்ஷிப் இங்கே வந்திருந்ததுக்கு லாட்ஷிப்புக்கும் மிஸ்ஸஸ் லாட்ஷிப் சரஸ்வதி அம்மாவுக்கும் எம்எம்பிஎ சார்பில் நெஞ்சார்ந்த நன்றியை தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறோம் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி விஷயமாக அட்மின் ஜட்ஜியை பார்க்கும்பொழுது 
Uh, Lord Shiva is so particular about the arrangements uh, we are going to make, make and everything. Apo engal thirinji Lord Shiva bande evolo passa bande or Maria da bande Chief Justice mala uchir kanga engal the administration thirinji the. So on behalf of MBB our tender our sincere thanks to the admin chief. And engal orde alipu yechinga under ke kuriya His Lordship Justice R V J His Lordship Mrs Sri Madhi J Sri Madhi Sri Madhi J. and uh, his lordship kkr j and the senior counsels uh, ts sir sir and uh, krishnamani ma'am meena chandram sir uh, w anandavalli ma'am bar council member thalai mutras engude former secretary mmb ode former secretary mr uh, mahendran sir and uh, registry and in the nigalchigalukku host ah irundha mr ellathu coordinate panna shanmugam sulam sir senior advocate natarajan sir all other members our uh, tender our sincere thanks to the every members who were present in the friday evening thank you